Pamela Crawford here. Stay with us as we transplant these bromeliads, which we will be separating along the way, into these beautiful cobalt blue pots. A total of five of these cobalt blue planters we'll be working with today in this beautiful waterfront property in the Boca Marina neighborhood of Boca Raton, Florida. The first thing we do is take the bromeliads out of the pots and put them on a tarp because we're going to be going through the bromeliads and deciding which ones we should transplant and which ones we should keep. You can see how easy it is to lift them out of the old pots. Before you start planting your pot, be sure that you can see drainage holes in the bottom. We're cutting up some pieces of weed cloth here because we're going to use weed cloth squares in the bottom of the pots to keep the gravel that we use for drainage from falling out of those drain holes. Drop the weed cloth in the bottom of the pot like that and be sure the weed cloth you get is water soluble because we want water to go through it so it can drain out the drain holes, but we don't want our rocks to fall through. Now we're getting ready to put the rocks in the bottom of the pot. We don't need much, we only need about two inches. In go the rocks. Putting weed cloth on top of the rocks, and the reason we do that is to keep the dirt from going through to the rocks and then down on the pool deck beneath it. Add potting mix into the pot up to the level that we need for planting. Potting mix pretty close to the top because the bromeliads we're planting have pretty small root balls. Other plant has died on this clump of bromeliads and it's had a baby. And when the babies are this big, about two thirds as big as the mother plant, you can simply snap them apart, either with your hands or with clippers like this. We're gonna throw away the mother plant because it's on its last legs and we're going to let the baby take over. We're putting the largest and most dramatic bromeliad in the pot that is most visible from the house. It's a really easy to plant. All you do is Put the roots underneath the soil and don't pile the soil up too far around the leaves. We top dress the soil with some really attractive black rock which gives a really nice neat manicured look to these planters. Take a look at what this planter looks like now. Let's take a look at what our pots looked like before and, and what they look like after. We've changed them around a little bit so that we have the, the blue ones on either side of the brown ones that were existing here. We think that the new plantings look good indeed and notice if you will how well the blue goes with the tile in the pool. Four and after once again of our prize bromeliad. I'm Pamela Crawford. I design landscapes throughout Palm Beach County. Check out my work at Pamela-Crawford.com. Thank you.